Hello. Yes. This is a video I've been meaning to make for a while, and I don't know exactly what format it's going to eventually be in, whether I wanted it to be a vlog or a fully edited video. So I figured I'd take this opportunity as I'm in a pretty busy week of my life, and also the second week of uploading weekly. It's a pretty bad time to be, uh, you know, petering out and doing this, but I figured I should put it into words in a video before uh, possibly turning it into a full-fledged edited video because uh, recently Digi talked about uh, why favorites change over time and in it he covered uh, for a little bit uh, a dilemma that I've been having for quite a while which is not being able to accurately give uh, scores give numerical scores to video or to, to anime on uh, lists, on, you know, listing sites like My Anime List or Annie List, uh, which I use both. And because for, I mean, uh, there's a bunch of reasons. And essentially, the first one is that numbers are a stupid way to score a show. It doesn't really make sense. Like, and that, that brings me to my second point. Uh, it's really hard to condense all of my thoughts on a show down into a uh, you know a small review like an essay length review and it's even harder to condense it down into like a sentence and then it's pretty much impossible to condense it down to what's essentially a one digit score uh, you know one to ten zero to nine because you can't give it a, a zero it's, so it's essentially a one you're essentially bringing it down to one digit and it doesn't really it can't really accurately portray how I feel about a show because two shows that I feel completely different about could have the same number for different reasons and it it, it really it, there's really no good way to fix it without just dropping scores at all uh, the the second reason would be like as explained in the video uh, these scores change over time depending on, you know, so many factors, like enjoyment right after the show, uh, enjoyment, you know, months ahead, enjoyment years ahead, uh, the amount you think about it. it they, it tends to change over time, and unless you choose uh, one specific time, uh, as in, like, right after you finish, or a couple months after you finish, and you stay consistent for every single show, uh, those numbers will mean different things. And the, and the reason that's an issue is because there's really no correct uh, period of time for, for, for a score to be given. Like, the, it, reacting to a show right after you finish watching it compared to reacting to it months in the future, neither has more inherent validity than the other and the I mean third off numbers are completely subjective and they're bullshit and uh, you know a five for someone could be a seven for someone else and you really can't express that on any of these listing sites unless you like edit your CSS to put it above your uh your list, which really shouldn't be required. Like, there's there's so many things that these sites could do to mitigate this issue, and they really don't do any of them, unfortunately. And the another thing about these these scores that I see all the time is like, oh, you know, every every score on on my anime list is between a seven and a ten. Uh, you know, all these jokes. Uh, you know, like an article, uh, a satirical article written about someone who finally gave a show a four. Because these are inherently going to be skewed based on what section they're in. Uh, pretty much everything in my list is a seven or above because if it is below a seven, I won't finish it. I'll drop it and I'll forget about it. And sometimes I won't even put it on the list if it was that bad. And every show that I finish, I, I tend to see 
something positive in it and a lot of them get it's it's a constant struggle to to figure out whether uh only one thing should have a 10 or if several shows should have a 10 even though they I think they're all all my favorites but some of them are better than the others even though they have the same numerical score and it's it's really hard to to come to an objective uh an objective answer to that because there really isn't one. There's no there's no objective way to work to to answer this uh, this dilemma, and uh, my the answer that I came up with is I'd rather give instead of a number a a sentence or a short short blurb about what I've thought about the show, and uh, instead of giving them numbers and rating them in order of like 10 to 1, uh, I'd rather have every show, I'd rather put the shows in order of how much I enjoyed them and then have the sentences next to them to qualify why I like them that much, what they did right, what they did wrong, why I like this one the most, why I like this one less than that but I still like it more than the next one. And I feel like that would solve all of these issues that, uh, that I'm having and it, it really seems like not that hard of a fix but I can't figure out I've tried time and time again to do it with CSS and there's really no way to to make it portray this idea that I had but someday in the future uh, if they don't add it I will work out how to set the CS up, CSS up to do that and one day we will no longer have these issues. Thanks for watching.